Hi, I'm Kate from Pagefly. Are you struggling to organize your content in a way that flows and converts? Today we're going to fix that by learning how to build the correct page structure in Pagefly. How an element is built. Pagefly provides three main containers which are section, row, and column to design your page. Section is the biggest container which contains all content units dedicated to some topic. Each section can have multiple rows. Rows content dedicated to some subtopic. Each row can have one or multiple columns depending on the layout. Columns contains content of the subtopic but arranged inside columns as per layout. Here we are in the Pagefly page editor. Now, you should understand how an element is built in Pagefly. I have a heading element here. Click on it and head over to the breadcrumb. You can see the element is inside the column. The column is inside the row, which is inside a section. When you drag and drop any element into the page editor, you will see this structure. Now, let's configure the section. A page is created from multiple sections. You can add more sections by hovering over the plus icon and selecting either template section or saved section. Configure the row. Within each section, there is a row. It is possible for each section to contain multiple rows. So now with this section, go to the general tab. You can add one more row into the section here. Click on duplicate icon to create a new row matching the one above. Or you can delete the row like this. For example, I have a section here. This section has two rows. One row shows the title of the section and one row shows the detail of that section. And when you want to add another content to your page, you should add another section. You can change the spacing between rows by adjusting the bottom margin of the top row. Configure the column. Now choose the row. Go ahead to the general tab and you can add column inside the row like this. Or you can also click the duplicate icon in the general tab. In a row, you can only add a maximum of 12 columns on all devices and the laptop view. This number is six with the tablet view and four with the mobile view. You have the ability to adjust the number of columns in each row without impacting the layout on other devices. Scroll down and you can change the position of content in the row. This option is turned on automatically. And you can change the column spacing here that is 30 pixels by default and 60 pixels maximum. When you delete columns, the width of other columns in the row will automatically increase to cover the width of that row. You can also change the width of any column like this. Change until the width of the next column reaches the minimum responsive layout in Pagefly. Finally, moving on to responsive layout in Pagefly. The layout on devices in Pagefly is automatically responsive. However, you still can adjust as you want. This is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Thank you for watching.